Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's Mo Money with you at the movies. And this is my first video of 2023, and it's a video that I've been promising you guys for a long time, so thank you for sticking with me. It's the Rocky Rankings video, where I will take all six Rocky movies and rank them one to six. And uh, I will not include the Creed videos, as I think that kind of messes with it a little bit, but that's just me. Leave your rankings and thoughts in the comments below. So here we go. At number six, we have what I feel is the weakest, yet still a quality movie in Rocky V. And this one loses points because it's not really a Rocky movie. It's more of a story. He's not the main boxer. He's more of a tutor in this movie as well. They try to force the uh, father-son conflict, which I'm not a big fan of. However, there is one funny moment at the end of the movie during the big dramatic fight scene. Uh, and it's where his son goes, knock, knock him out because he took my room. I thought that was really funny. And there's other good qualities to this movie. But for me, it's just the one that's lacking the most. So that comes in at number six is Rocky Five. And at number five, we will go with Rocky Three. Again, this is a great entertaining movie. It's got uh, Mr. T and Hulk Hogan, and Sylvester Stallone has a charity boxing match where Hogan looks like he's going to demolish him, but they do it all for charity, and Hogan's just putting on a show. Uh, this one gets extra points because it's the one where Mick has a traumatic moment where he has a heart attack and passes away. Also, I like that Clubber Lang wins the world title in the first fight, and Rocky starts to question himself throughout the movie, leading to a big dramatic final fight at the end of the movie. At number four, we have Rocky IV, because this is where the Rocky franchise, as great as it is, uh, with Ivan Drago, uh, it gets a little bit cartoonish. Uh, you know, Paulie has the robot. Uh, the Rocky's been well-established. It's more of a country versus country thing. Apollo dies trying to give it emotional credibility. But just the way it all played out was kind of, I don't want to say forced, but it really felt that way. So at number four is Rocky IV. Uh, at number three is Rocky II. Uh, Rocky II, I like this because it shows that even after the first fight, uh, Rocky didn't give up even though he wanted to, and uh, Apollo kind of goats him into a rematch, which is really, really funny to me, because <clears throat> at the end of the first movie, not to give any spoilers away, but they're like, there ain't going to be no rematch, there ain't going to be no rematch, and Sly goes, I don't want one, and uh, yeah, so the basic of this movie is Apollo won the first fight, but doesn't feel like he got his just due, for example. <clears throat> and to a champion like Apollo, he's like, I won, but I didn't beat him. And so he starts this whole campaign of, I don't, I want to beat Rocky. And Rocky, uh, he eventually gives in to this want to fight. But then his wife winds up in the hospital. Uh and winds up in a coma, actually, as Rocky's preparing for this fight. And Mick's like, this is our shot. This is our chance to be in the ring with the world heavyweight champion for a second time. And most people only get one shot at it. And he's explaining this to Rocky. And eventually Mick resides himself to the fact that, you know, he's if Rocky's going to sit and pray for Adrian to get out of the hospital, then Mick's just going to accept the fact that they're probably going to lose this fight. And because Rocky hasn't been training very hard throughout the course of this fight. But I absolutely adore this movie. Because eventually what ends up happening is Adrian wakes up. And Rocky doesn't want to fight because he doesn't want to stress out his wife. And she says there's one thing you can do for me. And Rocky goes, what's that? And just win. And that's when he comes out. And it's a very dramatic fight. 
I'm sure everybody's seen it, so I'll give it away again. Uh, it goes back and forth much like the first fight does. And uh, this time, they both get knocked down. <clears throat> and by the uh, count of 10, uh, Rocky gets up to his feet at 9 and Apollo stays down. So Rocky wins the World Heavyweight title for the first time. And we get the iconic, yo, Adrian, I did it kind of thing, which makes this movie so fantastic. Um, it's it's a really, really lovely movie. Uh, going to number two is Rocky VI. And this is the last installment of the franchise. However, I think it's one of the best because it encapsulates everything that Rocky's gone through. And he's still got Polly with him. His son has grown. And I think they did a better job of showing the disconnect between his son, who believes he's trying to live in his shadow. And Adrian's passed away at this point. And there's a great scene of Rocky going and taking a trip basically down memory lane uh, with Polly. And they have an argument, uh, which leads to them going home. And, you know, the son's like, you don't have to fight. You don't have to fight. You're going to embarrass the family. And Rocky's like, yes, I do. And eventually it gets to the point where they end up training together, Rocky and his son. <clears throat> and it's a charity fight, basically, for Mason the Lion Dixon, which was also set up by the fact that they had a computerized, uh, basically, cartoon fight between the two. And, uh, yeah, I can't remember even who won that fight. <laughs> But it's not really important. As Mason the Lion Dixon, he was also going through his own struggles. He had gone through the entire division and beat everybody. And he left his training camp for the, for the money. And so this is the way they're going to rehabilitate his image. But again, and this is, this is so great because they got the HBO pay-per-view logos and everything. And they got Michael Buffer just adding to everything. And... You know, there's this great speech of, you know, remember what you told the kid is ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you get hit and keep moving forward. Uh, basically, it's a classic tussle. And again, this time what makes it special is Rock leaves the ring even before the announcement of who won the fight because it's not the end result. He just wanted to prove that he could still do it because the boxing commission uh, tried to not let him do it out of fear for his own health. So it's a great movie with a bunch of twists and turns. Uh, they brought back Little Marie from the first movie, played by a di different actress, of course. But yeah, and that's how that works out. And she plays a major part, kind of basically substituting for Adrian. Uh, she's no longer there. And my favorite movie of the Rocky franchise is the Oscar-winning first movie, I just think it's great the way they set it up. Our Rocky's basically a club fighter who doesn't who doesn't expect anything out of his career. He's a lone shark down by the docks part time. Nick doesn't want to train him because he sees potential, but he thinks he's wasting it. And uh, Apollo's looking for an opponent, and they don't want him to fight Rocky because he's a southpaw, which is left-handed, and Apollo is just like, yeah, we can make something out of this. Apollo Creed, Creed versus the Italian Stallion. And they have the fight in Philadelphia on the 4th of July. It, it's basically, and there's this great moment where Rocky thought he was a just a sparring partner for uh, Apollo Creed. And he's like, I won't take no cheap shots or nothing like that. And the promoter goes, no, we want you to fight Apollo Creed. And uh, he's not, he doesn't want to do it because he's like, I don't want to be embarrassed by the champ. And two things about this fight that make it uh, absolutely glorious for me is Rock's proud because he's never broken his nose at any point in the fighting game. And two, he just wants to know. And the other set part of it was he just wanted to see himself go through and make it the entire 15 rounds because he tells Adrian, look, there's no way I can win. This is even before the fight. And uh, 
Yeah, so they do end up going the entire 15 rounds. And as I said in the other review, Apollo ends up winning, but it's a great movie. And of course, again, it ends with the, there ain't going to be no rematch, and I don't want one. So if you made it to this point in the video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's been great having you. Until next time, may your ego come from a place that keeps you humble. I'm Mo Money. Mamba out.